लाइसन रजिस्ट्रेशन आपके सारे पेपर्स जो हैं आपकी बाइक पे सेव्ड हैं बस अपने आप हो रही है ये मोटरसाइकिल को आप कभी चोरी नहीं कर पाओगे क्योंकि Hi guys and welcome back to Bike with Girl. Today I am in Bangalore to ride the much awaited ultraviolet F77. Now the plan is that we are going to go on the track but we are also here in the real world. Vadiyon ke beech mein road pe traffic ke ekdam beech mein I am going to tell you all about this bike because I am going to make sure I take it through all the conditions and situations so that I can give you answers. Now, why is this bike so overpriced? This is a question that I got on reels, I got on my YouTube video. कि पांच लाख बहुत है यार हमने we waited so many years ऐसा सिला दिया तूने हमारे प्यार का ultraviolet is what the feeling I got from your comments. So I'm going to break it down for you after speaking to the guys at Ultraviolet, after riding this bike today, after understanding what the real situation of this is. And I hope I'm getting it right, but this is my understanding of the situation. Um, number one, this battery is nuts. It's like we all know, it is the biggest battery on an EV two-wheeler in India. And because of the size of this battery, this the battery ka size is so big that they do not... Uh, get a government subsidy like most of the other EEV manufacturers are getting right now. So yes, they've understood that it's got a heavyish front end and they've made that work by giving you something like a reverse assist feature, which nobody does. Like they're like, haan, bike heavy hai, seek lo, samal lo, okay? Kisi ne sawal poocha, what kind of real world range is it giving you considering it's got the biggest battery on an EV bike in India? These guys at Ultraviolet claim that uh, this gives you 307 kilometers on one full charge. But when I started the bike in the morning today, uh, it did not give me the IDC range, which was 307. It actually showed me 279 kilometers. So that is what the situation with this is. Though I have been riding quite a few hours now and in ballistic mode throughout. How long for a full charge? After speaking to the team, I've understood that she'll run about 35 kilometers after charging for an hour. Then calculation karke humko pata chala ki it will take about eight to nine hours for a full charge of battery. Now 307 kilometers effectively means in our world of petrol fueled bikes, that's like one tank of fuel, isn't it? And 307 kilometers range is incredible. Uh, at this point in our country. So that's number one. Also eight to nine hours would be on a standard charger. They've also got this boost charge, uh, which will of course cut down the time by a lot. This bike gets incredible features. Okay. I'm going to take you through some things. It's got this really cool feature called the lockdown mode. Where if this chavi robber ko mil gai, chor jo hai, usko mil gai, and he takes the bike and flees also, you through your app can stop that from happening. It's like, you know, find my iPhone wo wala jo app. Hai. Uh, that's literally like that because you can track where your bike is going and you can stop this from happening and once you stop it on your app, the bike will not move. So, robber, itna dur kaha bhagega ja bike ki nahi bhag rahi hai That's, which I think is very, very cool. Next time, jab aap bread lene ja rahe ho aur police aapko pagadti hai aur aapke paas apna wallet bhi nahi hai apne papers dikhane ke liye all you have to do is this. See? License, registration, aapke saare papers jo hai Aapke bike pe saved hai. How awesome is that? Okay, and then there is this shock and impact crash protection, uh, which 
is also incredible because if the bike senses that you have crossed a certain lean angle, it will throw up signals, it will cut the engine. Uh, in case of an accident, it will call your loved one. Very, very cool. The maps on this, very, very clear, very nice to see. It's got a damn futuristic, but very nicely understandable uh, instrument cluster because everything happens on here. The three modes on this bike can literally be changed on the fly. So you're not going into those, you know how most of our big bikes have this thing where you have to go into a menu and another menu and another menu and oh, I just hate that. Like I hate changing modes on big bikes. That's one thing I do not enjoy. This today made it a lot of fun because I went from one mode to the next like that. And then all the safety features on this bike kick in under 0 0.8 milliseconds, man. Which is, again, pretty awesome. It's got Bluetooth connectivity, of course. It's got regen braking also. As per the claimed figures, this does a whole 147 kilometers per hour. And by the way, it does 0 to 100 in 8 seconds, which is way better than what Talk does or Matter does or any of the other EV two-wheelers in our country do, uh, which is pretty bloody cool. But put this to test next to, say, a KTM 390. Another question you guys asked me was, how talky is this motorcycle? So Ultraviolet claims uh, that this makes about 96 Newton meters of torque, uh, which is exactly, literally exactly what the Ducati Hypermotard 950 makes, by the way. But when you put the performance figures of both to test Zameen or Asman ka farak hai, of course. Uh, but then one is electric and one is petrol fueled. So, I mean, I'm not going to say anything about that. I think the performance figures for this are closer to, say, the KTM 250, I'm guessing. Kisi ne poocha tha, how heavy is this bike? Will she be able to ride this? Now, I'm going to show you a real world test of this. It's quite a heavy motorcycle. 207 kgs to be precise this is not the greatest of places for me to be doing this wow okay no i'm gonna <laughs> okay How does she corner? Well, I have to say, when I started off first, I was feeling the weight and because of that, I was trying to, you know, chuck her into corners, it was not good. But that was only the first two laps. It was also because I was new to this track in Bangalore. Um, but after two laps, I started enjoying the track and that's when I understood the real potential of this bike. Because that talk, it kicks in from the very minute you do this. And in ballistic mode, this thing is fast. It's really, really fun. More than anything else, the brakes on this baby are damn, damn good. I took the wrong line on one of the corners and uh, I had to really emergency brake. And the brakes really saved me on the track today. Matlab, itna bhi bura nahi tha, but you realize the power of good brakes. Track track, we have played a I know that I'm talking to you while I stand uh, in the vicinity of Nandi Hills. But now I'm going to talk to you about riding this on the road. Uh, 
let's get to the first part which is the first thing everybody's asked me how is she to ride in the city quickly going to show you the things that make a difference okay so little whatever to get off the stand it's fine once you get used to it is fine uh so as you can see it's a wee bit tall so if you're new to bikes it may take a little bit of getting used to uh i have to say though that it, the seat is a super comfortable one uh, the peg placement is also absolutely bang on you sit are don't worry perfect perfect yes oh ho oh, very good great now tell me how comfortable you are behind i'm i'm good i'm comfortable like is that enough space for you, for you to sit there yeah i yeah? do have i can come front and i can move back also oh that's great yeah so there is enough space for your yeah it, i do have a space behind also okay i can move around also okay that's yeah. good and uh, uh are the pegs placed okay is it like two back rear set no 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 i can tuck to your thighs nice yeah very good okay so okay. you're comfortable yeah i'm comfortable awesome uh, pillion validation we have got thank you so much <laughs> just me picking random people up on the road and saying how oh, be a part of our test <laughs> and yeah i had no problem maneuvering her through the city and uh, out here in, in nandi hills also in fact i actually had a lot of fun Okay guys I hope I have answered all your questions about the ultraviolet uh, F77 hamare paas bahut kam time tha uh, we got here early in the morning today fir we were at the track then we had to be transported to Nandi Hills so in between that I wanted to do a lot of talking to you from the track but wo hua nahi kyunki time nahi mila and I was enjoying the bike too much on the track to be honest with you I hope you liked what we did with this video I have noticed that hamare uh, jo last two videos hain aap के और आ रहे ही नहीं हैं सो आई होप दैट यू विल गेट टू सी आवर वीडियो टुडे एंड या इफ यू थॉट दिस वॉज इंसाइटफुल एंड आई हैव गिवन यू दी आंसर्स दैट यू नीडेड दैन प्लीज शो दिस वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स यार अल्ट्रावायलेट एफ सेवेंटी सेवन के बारे में एंड लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कम बैक सून